goodbye babes out there, men and women that like to wear makeup. <laughs> I've actually been meaning to do this video for ages now, ever since I did my in-depth tutorial on how to do a cut crease on hooded eyes. I've been meaning to do this how to do a dome shape on hooded eyes tutorial as well. Right now, the reasons you want to know how to do the dome shape for hooded eyes is because in my opinion, it is the most foolproof, easy way to apply eyeshadow on hooded eyes. Cut creases are brilliant because they basically fake having a higher crease than what you actually do, whereas a dome shape will hide the hood altogether. <coughs> ah! I just ate some M&Ms, and in my pack there was about 15 M&Ms, 10 of them were blue. <laughs> And now my tongue is blue. Alright guys, back to the video. So, what you want to remember when you are doing the dome shape, um, this depends on how hooded your eyes actually are. The more hooded your eyes are, the more likely you are going to want to stick with matte shadows. I explain this all the time, but just so you're aware, the reason I like to use matte eyeshadows rather than shimmery or sparkly eyeshadows on hooded eyes is because shimmery, sparkly eyeshadows, they're made to reflect the light. So they're made to highlight whatever you put them on. If you apply that kind of eyeshadow onto the hood of your eyelid, what it's going to do, as you probably guessed, is it's going to highlight the hood of your eye. Now, if that's the look you're going for, that's fine. You do you. Do whatever makes you happy. If that's not the look you're going for, then use mattes. What mattes do is they absorb the light so that they actually push whatever you've applied them on backwards. Or they kind of flatten everything, if that makes sense. So, now that that's out of the way, let me get on to the video. I do hope that you will find it helpful. Okay guys, so just ignore this eye because I've just put eyeshadow on here and then realized that I forgot to explain to you what I was doing. And this is meant to be an in-depth video, so that was a bit stupid. Okay, now a little bit of information about what I'm about to do. I'm going to be working with this brush here. This is the base brush from Real Techniques. But you can always just use a flat eyeshadow brush like that that most people have. This brush does not have to be anything special. So what you want to do is apply the shadow from the inner corner of the eye all the way to the outer corner of the eye, but not beyond that. So you do not want to bring the shadow in past the inner corner and you don't want to bring it out past the outer corner. The question of how high to bring your shadow up, that's going to depend on how hooded your eyes actually are. Obviously you want to apply your shadow from here to here all over your lid, but then if you open your eyes and look at yourself front on in the mirror and your shadow disappears, so if your lid falls over your eyeshadow and it looks like you've got no eyeshadow on, that means that you need to bring the eyeshadow up higher. I'm going to insert a little diagram here so that you can actually see what I'm talking about. So as you can see with this eye here, this is more of a droopy kind of hooded eye, which is what I usually have. And this is how far she would need to bring her eyeshadow up when she's looking front on to make sure that you can actually see the eyeshadow. Then on this eye here, this is more of the puffy hooded eye, like, you know, Renee Zellweger. Her eye shape is more like the puffy hooded eye. So here's an example of that eye here, and this is how far you would want to bring your shadow up if you have this shaped hooded eye. So really all you have to do is keep gradually bringing your shadow up higher and higher and higher until when you open your eyes and look at yourself front on, you can see your eyeshadow. So that means bring your eyeshadow up onto the hood of the eye. Do not leave it underneath the hood of the eye. Once you've got your eyeshadow up on the hood of your eye, <coughs> Pardon me. That's when you want to blend it out. So now I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Okay, the eyeshadow color that I'm using today is not an eyeshadow at all. Surprise, surprise! This is Blush Baby from MAC and as the name suggests, it is a blush. The reason I'm using this is because it is a dusty, rosy, taupey color and I quite frankly just do not have an eyeshadow that is that color in my kit anywhere, which is ridiculous. This is also completely matte, so you guys know that I always say if you have hooded eyes, the safest eyeshadows to go with are matte shadows because they don't reflect the light, therefore they're not going to highlight the hood of the eyes. Okay, so like I said, I'm working today with, well, for the moment, I'm working with the base shadow brush from Real Techniques. I'm just going to put that in my blush or eyeshadow or whatever you're using. Tap off the excess, like always. And I'm going to apply it all over my lid from the inner corner of the eye to the outer corner of the eye. I'm just patting it on. Okay, I'm going to start bringing it up a little bit higher. Remember, you want to be applying it in a dome shape. So if you imagine a half moon, I'll insert a little picture of the shape that I mean when I say dome shape here on the screen somewhere. Up here is a good place, should be there now. So when I say dome shape, that is the shape that I mean. And as you can see, I have not gone past the inner corner of my eye and I've not gone past the outer corner of my eye. So if you imagine two lines here and here, that's where you want to bring your eyeshadow to. Okay, so even though my eyes aren't hooded today, when I look at myself front on, I can still see that a little bit of that eyeshadow is disappearing underneath the crease of my eye. So I'm going to bring my eyeshadow up higher. Again, just gradually patting it on. You want to do this in steps. Because if you go in too heavy, too quick, everything will be ruined. <laughs> so at the moment, 
I'm just patting it on and I'm just getting the placement correct. After that, I'll blend it out. Now I'm going to blend it out. So I'm just going to use the same brush, but on the back of my hand, I'm just going to take off any excess shadow that might still be on there so that I'm not applying more. And now that my brush is somewhat clean, I'm going to just blend around the edge. So I'm not going to blend on the inside where I've applied the eyeshadow. I'm just blending on the outer edge of my dome shape, just to make it soft. You want to do this very, very gently and very softly so that you don't move the placement that you worked so hard to get. There we go, so you want the outer edge to be very, very soft. You don't want it to be obvious where your eyeshadow starts and where your eyeshadow stops. There we go. Now, with the same eyeshadow and the same brush, I'm just gonna sweep a little bit of this blush underneath my lower lash line. All we're doing here, really, is just balancing the top lid with the bottom lid so that everything is nice and even, and that's all. Okay, now if you're going to work or you just don't want to wear a lot of makeup in general, you don't want to make your eyes too dramatic, you can just leave the eyeshadow exactly like this. You do not need to do anything more. Just apply some eyeliner if you want to or some mascara if you want to and get out that door and go to work. However, <laughs> I want to make the eyes a little bit darker and show you how you can make the eye look a little bit more dramatic if you want to. And so we're just going to be darkening up the eyes just a tad. So for that, I'm using Handwritten from MAC. Yes, this is an eyeshadow this time on the same base shadow brush from Real Techniques. And basically, I'm going to apply this directly above the top lash line. So we're following the same shape as we did with our original color, but this time I'm not going to bring it up as high. So what we're doing is creating a very gradual gradient where above the lash line it's quite dark, and then the further you go up towards the eyebrow, it gets lighter and lighter until it disappears altogether. Like that. So it has darkened it up a little bit, but it is still daytime appropriate in my opinion. Okay, now remember balance is the name of the game. So I'm going in with a tiny little detailing smudger brush, again with handwritten from MAC, taking a tiny amount of this, and I'm just going to smudge that through the roots of my lower lash line. Now I'm taking Vanilla from MAC, this is my highlight shade, and I'm going to apply that underneath the arch of my brow bone and on the inner corner of the eye. We have got a lot of optional steps in this video guys, so this part is optional as well. I'm taking Carbon from MAC, this is a matte black. I'm taking a tiny little smudging detailer brush, a little bit of carbon, and I'm going to smudge that through the roots of my top lash line. Because I'm not applying eyeliner, should have mentioned that. This is going to act as my eyeliner, but far softer and less dense. Alright, now I'm going to apply mascara to my top and bottom eyelashes. I'm using this. This is the most crazy mascara of the world. Not because it's crazy good, because it is just literally crazy. Like, what is this? This is just massive. I don't know how anybody can use this. I'm persevering because I don't want to waste it and not use it, but I'm struggling, guys. The struggle is real. Now I'm going to apply some false lashes because that's just what I do. I'm using Ardell Demi Wispies. I'm going to stick these babies onto my eyes. So there we are guys, that is the eye look finished. I hope you understand now in depth how to do a dome shaped eyeshadow for hooded eyes. Like I said at the very start, that is in my opinion the most foolproof eyeshadow technique for hooded eyes ever created. It will work no matter how big your eye space is or how hooded your eyes are. This is the eyeshadow technique and shape that's going to work. Remember as always, every single product that I've used will be linked in the description box down below for you guys. Please come and follow me on Twitter. I update there every single day and I chat to you guys on there. Obviously follow me on Instagram because I'm addicted to Instagram and I'm always on there as well. I'll put the links to both of them in the description box down below for you. Let me know if that video helped you and if it didn't, what you would rather see instead. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!